This right here is this is this is crazy. It's wild. Um Yeah, it's just a lot going on, bro. We're gonna run the intro, watch this, get my thoughts and opinions towards the end. And yeah. Two, two. What's good? What's going on, man? It's your boy B, and we back in this mud with another reaction video. Um, as you guys see by the title, man, we got um Brittany um Griner, um nine years sentencing. You know what I'm saying? So y'all don't know Brittany Griner. She's a was a basketball player. Oh, she hooped overseas or something like that, and supposedly got caught with uh was it marijuana or something like that in Russia. So. Yeah, like, I'm going to get my thoughts and opinions at the end. But anyways, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy the reaction, man, y'all make sure I hit that like button. Subscribe, turn on notifications on, all that good stuff helps out with the channel, man. We on the grind to that big 1K, 600 on the way, 700 on the way. One of them numbers on the way, I don't even know at this point. Hit that sub button, turn notifications on, man. Let's get it. Back to our top story, WNBA star Brittany Griner was sentenced to nine years in prison by a Russian court. The 31-year-old Griner, a two-time U.S. Olympic champion and an eight-time WNBA All-Star, was arrested February 17th for bringing cannabis into the country, pleaded guilty on July 7th, and was convicted earlier today. Here's Brittany Griner's defense attorney following the sentencing. She's very obsessed, very upset, very stressed, and she is, well, she can hardly talk, honestly. It feels, you got Russian attorneys fighting for you, you got, it's just a whole situation just weird as fuck. If I'm, if I'm out of, if, if, if I'm, uh. Gonna do something illegal. I'm gonna make sure I do something illegal in my own, you know what I'm saying, country. Because at least I know the rules and regulations and shit behind it. You in a different country, they gonna treat you totally different. Facts. So it's a difficult time for her. You know when we saw Britney, uh, I think it was Tuesday, and we saw, her, and we told her see you on Thursday, and she said see you on Doomsday. So looks like she was right. The Phoenix Mercury released the following statement, quote, while we knew it was never the legal process that was going to bring our friend home, today's verdict is a sobering milestone in the 168-day nightmare being endured by our sister, BG. We remain heartbroken for her, as we have every day for nearly six months, and we remain grateful to and confident in the public servants working every day to return her to her family and us. We remain faithful. The administration will do what it takes to end her wrongful detention. And we are inspired every day by BG's strength and are steadfastly committed to keeping her top of mind publicly until she is safely back on American soil. We will not allow her to be forgotten. We are BG. Our OTL reporter, John Barr, breaks down the how we got to this point. Okay. When the WNBA season began in May, the only sign of Brittany Griner's presence was an encore decal bearing her initials and number, 42. Griner forces and finishes. Brittany Griner is possessed A seven-time All-Star center, Griner has been detained in Russia since her arrest on February 17th at the Moscow airport. Russian authorities say they found vape cartridges containing hashish oil in her luggage. Griner was taken into custody charged and suddenly facing a maximum damn so this happened at the airport i'm thinking like i don't know i think i'm thinking like she might have got like pulled over or something this happened like why what what are, what, are, what are you this happened at the airport i'm thinking she bought this one and, and got caught just driving the bus. Ten-year prison sentence. This is an unimaginable situation for BG to be in. You know, BG's part of my family. I cut you for a long time. I, I, I mean, I love that girl. She's she really is, and I'm just, you know, I just, I just, I hope that she can come home soon. Griner's status only grew more uncertain because of what happened a week after her arrest. 
Overnight, the sound of explosions and bombs. Russian President Vladimir Putin declaring the beginning of what he calls a special military operation in Ukraine. Russia's war with Ukraine and the international sanctions that followed complicated efforts by U.S. officials to bring Griner home. In May, the State Department reclassified Griner to an important new distinction. We have determined that the Russian Federation has wrongfully detained a U.S. citizen, Brittany Griner. Still, there were some who believed that enough wasn't being done to bring Griner home sooner. If it was a Bonnie be home, right? It's a statement about the value of women, it's a statement about the value of the gay person. At this point, it seems like pressure is, is what's going to get the job done. Over the July 4th holiday, Griner made a direct appeal for her freedom to President Biden, writing to him in a letter, I'm terrified I might be here forever. We're asking the White House, POTUS. Yeah, you there for a long time, them nine years. She in Russia with nine years? Yeah, she there for a minute. Vice President Kamala Harris to do something. She is terrified for her freedom on a day in which people are celebrating it. I would like to plead guilty on the charges. On July 7th, Griner pleaded guilty in a move largely seen by experts as strategic as the overwhelming majority of Russian court cases. I don't think nobody gonna fuck with her in that though. She big as fuck. She like she could take on a group of motherfuckers and some old shit. Facts. She look like one of the homies. End in convictions. Then just last week, perhaps the most hopeful sign to date. Secretary of State Antony Blinken announcing a proposed prisoner swap offer was made to the Russian Foreign Minister of Affairs in June, which would bring fellow American Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner home. We put it See, I heard about this. I heard about this. And my mom was talking about this today, actually, man. Like, they were supposed to do doing a swap, and he told me that, he told me that um, they wanted somebody in the U.S. weren't trying to send them because maybe bro may know some information or something. Who knows? I said, damn, that's crazy, bro. A substantial proposal on the table weeks ago to facilitate their release. Griner's trial may now be complete, but the work to bring her home is far from over. Truthfully, I can't rest as her humanity is being stripped from her. I can't rest as her safety is in question. I honestly can't rest until she's home. More reaction from the NBA and WNBA world continues to pour out on Twitter. Swin Cash tweeting, hearts heavy, thinking and praying for Brit. Please keep her and her family lifted. And Jaron Jackson Jr., quote, no way, nine is crazy, makes no sense. Yeah. And the Connecticut Sun guard tweeted, we love you, BG. That's Jasmine Thomas. Yeah. Nine years is... Come on, man. That's... But at the end of the day, bro, you got it, you got it. Man, you can't just be out here breaking the laws and shit like that, man, in a different country. You know what I'm saying? We can't control how many years they give us for because it's their country, right? But over here, you just... Nice. Come on, that probably gives her a damn slap on her wrist or something for what she had. But who knows, man? Prayers prayer goes out to to uh Brittany Griner and family. But uh yeah. You can't be you can't be trying to smuggle marijuana and shit to a nigga. What, what 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 was she thinking? Like what the f I don't know. Y'all comment y'all thoughts and opinions below about this whole situation. I'm going to be down there reading them, man. Harden up uh, comments and stuff like that. Check out one of the videos on the screen if you haven't done so already. It's definitely a banger. i catch y'all next video, man.